um, I've been working on this work for five years, more than five years, and uh, I've been choosing to to speak about his work for university only on um, a basis of um, watching his movies and making analysis of what I could see in his movies, but not at all on a biographical point of view. I left it completely aside. Um, and when I finished, my my point of view was that on every, in every of his movies, he was talking about the war. Even in film noir, even if, when, if the context is not World War Two. It was for for him a way of talking about the war and what he maybe could have done during the war. But no one had any proof of what he did, and this was not the interest of the university to make a biographical um, work. So I finished five years working, asking me that question. Actually, what did he really do uh, during the war? And um, uh, someone was specialized specialized in history of World War II, uh, a very important professor in France, he told me, well, maybe he did nothing. Maybe he lied when he said a few things about the war, that he, he, he had met some people, or he was connected with the resistance. Maybe this is all false, or maybe he just wanted to, you know, to feel good with that, but this is, there is no proof of nothing. And I said, well, this is very interesting. Let's find some proofs of what he did. And I could find some. And it was so wonderful to see that there, there were some documents um, that we had to, to ask to the army in France to open files, uh, to find things that even the family didn't know. Uh, he never said many things to his own family. So it was very moving to come back with files and to, to show them to the family. Um, you can see um, two of his nephews in the movie, and they are saying a few things about what he did that I knew, but after I could show them what really exi existed, and uh, they were just amazed and very moved about what they discovered. So this is this is also a part which is very nice in the story of the documentary, um, to find um, evidences of, uh, some of what someone did and they never talked about. Very, very and why black and white? The whole movie is not black and white, but many archives are in black and white. Uh, <laughs> black and white. Um, what I shot was in color, but many, many archives are in black and white. And I think it is um, it is important to respect black and white, to respect the ratio of the black and white images, uh, pictures, uh, old um, images from TV, um, and. Uh, for me, this is part of, uh, of the historical work, and it gives um, a different soul to the movie. It gives um, a different idea. For people, it's m I think it's more real um, when you're talking about the war and you could see black and white pictures. Um, this is important. Um, I, I would not change the black and white for nothing. Uh, but what I shot is in, in color in the movie. But I could say it is. You have 50 of the movie in black and white and 50 because it is archived and 50 percent.